We are getting a new view of what happened the night a bartender is accused of sending a customer to the intensive care unit. Attorneys for Joey O'Hare released this video. You can see him here walking at Kung Fu Saloon and in the video you see him talking with Robert Camalone, the bartender. Later, there was another exchange before the bartender grabs O'Hare from behind and takes him out the door before dropping him on the ground. O'Hare suffered a serious head injury. A friend who was with O'Hare that night talked to us about what may have led to all of this. She says things escalated when one of O'Hare's friends got cut off by the bar. That bartender cut him off for some reason. So we were like, okay, well, let's just all go. Let's not fight it. Let's go. So I then walked out first and then Joey was, I'm going to go pay. He paid and that's when it happened. Short clip of the video that has been shown doesn't tell the whole story. We have hours of video. O'Hare's attorneys filed a lawsuit against Kung Fu Saloon. Camelone also faces criminal charges. We are getting uh, the incident rather at this bar raises questions about when someone at a business or a bar can use force. KXAN investigator Kevin Schwaller went to a company that specializes in security to find out. Uh, points on These one cards card. look like driver's licenses, but actually signify a security officer's training. Commission license. Glenn Jones is a teacher. Licensed security company. Whose students will go on to guard stores or become bodyguards. They learn how to de-escalate heated situations and when they can use force. Regulations. Knowledge Jones believes security at bars need to. It takes a special kind of individual to work at bars and clubs because you're dealing with guys who are drunk, under the influence, you're having to kick these people out and so forth. We asked Kung Fu Saloon's lawyer about training for employees, but he wouldn't say. That's important information, and that information will emerge as we present the evidence in this case. Security guards like anyone can defend themselves, but Joan says with or without special training, they don't get special treatment from the law. The only authority they have is the same as any, anybody walking down the street, citizens arrest at best. So they can make a, a citizen's arrest just like you or I can. In the Kung Fu case, bartender Robert Camion is charged with assault. Now it's up to the courts to find out what happened and decide if Camion acted within his rights on a night that ended in pain. Kevin Schwaller, KXAN, investigates. If someone becomes a basic registered security guard with the state, Jones says that person has to first take a six-hour class.